Hello, Maya. What's up? So our carbon monoxide is over 50, which is not sufficient. What should our oxygen be, O2? O2 should be between 4 to 9%. Okay. But our CO is kind of high, so we're going to try to adjust that. All right? Guys, this stresses the fact that if you're not testing, you're guessing. Yeah, you guys could say, oh, 52, 53 particles per million of CO is, uh, ah, it's acceptable, no, right? It's not. It's not. Uh, that means you have improper combustion. Not that much of it, but it should be close to zero as possible. And myself and a lot of other HVAC, professional HVAC contractors firmly believe that anything under 50 is acceptable, but as close to zero as possible. I just adjusted the gas valve and took that down and we're dropping below, two, we're gonna drop below 20, right? And we're still at an acceptable amount of C of O2 percentage, 8.9%, eight, uh, right? And th don't forget, this is an 80% furnace. So we're at 81.7%, you know, it's technically operating slightly above its, speci its, uh, its specification, right? Uh, so we're at 9% of O2, we're at 18 parts per million of CO, carbon monoxide, 17, look at that. And that is, you know, if, I don't even know what to say, but if you're not testing, you're guessing. You know, I love the Testo 320, you know, we have them in all the trucks and every single heating service call we go on, this is mandatory. We are obligated, you know, it is my rule as the boss of this company that Every time we're on a furnace or a boiler, we test combustion. So, there's the Testo 320. We got this Comfort Maker furnace, let relatively only a year old, and it's never been done before. And look, out of the box, it was at a high amount of CO. And again, I'm gonna get the thumbs down. Oh, the 52, 53 is fine. No, it's not. Sorry. Have a good day. Be well.